whether it be handheld or um, aerial. Now the way I do it is uh, I've got a Nikon D50 on here um, just for um, the, the purpose of this uh, video. I know it doesn't take video, it can't capture video so please don't comment on the fact that it doesn't. Right, with this particular gimbal, um, it's got a top bar. Slacken that off, raise it up to its highest position, don't have it attached to the camera. Slacken these bolts off here, just enough so this, uh, that you can slide the bottom plate up and down this one here, once you've got your camera attached. And I, well, yeah, well, I balance mine, is I balance it on the flat on its back, so I can support it. Also makes it easier for me if I need to raise or lower this bar here. If you find that the camera is tilting to the back all the time, every time you let go of it, what it means is that it's too high here, which is the camera's too top heavy. So you pull it down, slide it down slightly. If you slide it in too far, when you let go, your camera will go like that. So eventually you'll get it so it will sit perfectly like that. When you do that, tighten up the two bolts here at the side, sling your bar back down, put in your hot shoe plate, tighten it up, make sure this is all level, and there you go. And your camera should then sit in whatever position you put it into. So that's the pitch taken care of. Now for the roll, the way that I um, get mine to sit, as you can see, perfectly balanced. At the back here, you've got four bolts. Now be very careful when you're doing this because the camera is heavy. When you slacken those off, just slacken them off very gently until you feel it actually the, the, the arm moving. Support the camera from the bottom. I normally do it with my left hand. And then just try and, if, it's, if you find your camera is falling to the left or to the right, it means that it's heavy on that side. So the camera needs, the whole camera mount needs to move to the left or to the right to the opposite side. Once you've done this, um, sometimes you'll find that you've got it perfectly balanced there, but whenever you go to um, go like that, it will spin really fast one way or the other way. It'll just really go like that. Now, the, the reason for that is the arms are too high or too low, these arms here. Although you've adjusted it to the left or right, what you need to do then is if it spins that way, it, it's going to be too high. So you need to drop the arms down a bit and then eventually you'll get you once you drop the arms down you'll notice then that it will sit perfectly and it won't spin the, the whole way around okay i hope that explains that now when you've when you've finished all that obviously drop this back down make sure it's level put a spirit level bubble level on there slide back in your uh, hop shoe plate into your camera tighten that up tighten up the screws at the side that keeps it in place. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this on camera. We have to try and lift up the camera a bit. Now, on the top, um, what I do is align. I made this stand just out of some aluminium. If you're wondering what it is, it makes it a lot easier to. Uh, um, adjust your gimbals whether for flying or handheld. Now what I do with mine is align the two arms here and then tilt the now as you notice mine is staying I hope you can see on the video there my camera is staying. Now normally if it was nose heavy it would go like that as soon as I went tilted. So when you tilt it would go like that. So to, to overcome that if it does that you slacken these bolts off and then slide it um, back to uh, counteract it back or forward whichever way if it's sliding backwards like that it means it's back heavy it needs to go forward now when you get your camera so it sits without moving when you tilt it you see the arms are staying the camera staying perfectly in position once you've finished that, what you need to do then, is I hope this is going to sit for you, is then attempt, my mind is swinging a wee bit, I don't know if it's because of the extra weight of this 
believe it or not, it's that well balanced. Right, if we get that to sit there, what you need to do then is on the back here of this of this particular gimbal is these four bolts. You can do it here if you wanted, but once I've got it sitting like that, I prefer not to touch. Tighten those up, unslacken these, and what you do is if you see mine's is moving. It means that I need to rotate it. Now if it's mine's is automatically swinging, so mine's is slightly out of balance. I was working with it last night, so you can see it there. So I put that's a prime example. So I would need to then, as it because it is swinging this way, I'll rotate this whole arm, this whole mechanism to the up. So I would swing this whole part here, grab it here, and rotate it this pipe inside so this this side slightly comes a bit higher which will counterbalance that. I hope that explains it. Um